Hey y'all, so I'm going to show you guys today how I speak kindly to myself in the mirror. And this is something I know it seems so simple, but this is like the hardest thing to do is to truly face yourself in the mirror, right? So first tip is to get a full length mirror for your body. Y'all know I'm tall, so I had to get a very tall mirror. <laughs> and this mirror also shows me what my body actually looks like. Because y'all know sometimes some mirrors, they don't necessarily show you all that. So mine is just one where it shows me what my body looks like. It shows my authentic self. And I also do my best to be in very uh, well-lit areas so that my body's just illuminated. But you can also do this with the lights off. That's actually a lot sexier, but whole different video for a whole nother day. So when you're speaking kindly to yourself, second tip is this, look into your eyes. I want you to ask yourself, what is my eye color? And can I see my eye color right now? What I mean by that is I notice that when I'm out of alignment, I can't necessarily see my eye color like when I look at myself in the mirror. And it's one of those things where it's like, I, I think of it as the light behind my eyes, the light in me. And when I'm out of alignment, my light is like very dim. So I do my best to do things where I'm like, okay, after I do this dance, my eyes just light up. After I speak the, these positive affirmations, my eyes light up. After I spend time with family or friends or my man, my eyes light up. Like, figure out what lights you up. And I use a couple of examples where it's like, uh, where other people are involved, but try to work on things that you can do by yourself, right? You wanna learn how to be with you. Because if you can't be with yourself, how, do you expect other people to be with you and live with you? You know what I'm saying? So remember, notice the light behind your eyes. If you don't see it, do something that makes you feel good about yourself. That is a healthy, healthy please. Third tip. So I like to, y'all know I like to use my hands and stuff like that. When I am speaking to myself kindly, I like to start from my crown. And you can close your eyes when you do this. Um, just so that you can feel the energy within your body. And once you feel that energy, I want you to just touch, starting from your crown and go all the way down. Just touch every part of your body. Touch your hair, feel all up and through that. And as you're um, touching your body, speak kindly as you do it. So for instance, you having a bad hair day? It's not a bad hair day. My hair is, is doing what it wants to do today. My hair feels good. My hair is my hair. It is me and I am it. Then massage your scalp. Be thankful that you can, that you're here. You know, be thankful for everything that you have in your life. And then touch, you can touch your forehead, cheekbones, your nose, your lips, your ears. As you move down your body, though, remember to speak kindly. And if you see an imperfection, give it grace. Uh, something that I struggled with, struggled, past tense, is thinking that everybody was noticing all the hyperpigmentation on my face. And especially when I was younger. And I look back at a lot of those pictures now, and I'm like, Monica, it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, the hyperpigmentation was there, yes, but it didn't cloud my actual beauty. And like to this day, I mean, I still get hyperpigmentation, you know, I still um, from time to time get the cyst and things like that. But 
it's like one of those, you know better, you do better, right? So now I'm like, you know what? My skin is doing what it needs to do today. Any imperfection on my body is going to be healed. And it's going to pass. It's not going to take away from my actual beauty. And I go all the way down. Touch my chest. You can do this naked if you want to as you're touching your body so that you can see your full body. I'm not going to get naked on this camera. <laughs> it's not that type of party. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, Touch every single part of your body and go all the way down. And as you're doing that, remember to give yourself grace. Remember to show up for yourself and don't try to hide it, right? How can you fall in love with yourself if you hide it from yourself? This is your space to be vulnerable. Remember, that's the true definition of intimacy, being able to be vulnerable. So if you like this video, I'm going to be making a whole lot more. And if you follow me, if you're a member of Twisted Intimacy, just so y'all already get extra videos anyway. So be on the lookout, stay tuned. And I appreciate y'all for joining me. And remember, please speak kindly to yourself in the mirror today. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.